To access the programming level on Logix units, press the up and the down buttons at the same time until the display changes. You know you'll be in the programming level because you will see the P and the numeric number next to it telling you which item you are adjusting. P1 is your time of day. If you should need to change it, press the set button and use the up or the down buttons in order to move through. Press the set button once you have completed your adjustment. P2 is your day of the week. Using the set button, you can make any adjustments. Set will cause the control to make the unit flash. You can only make an adjustment while an item is flashing. Press the set button to advance. P3 is our regeneration time. P4 is our day override. This can be set down to zero so that there would be no day override to a half day or up to 99 days. Make any adjustments and advance. The next item, if we had a 742, would be P5. Since we're programming on a 762, our next item will be P6. P6 is our salting amount. If we should need to make an adjustment, press the set button in order to get the item to flash. The next item is our system capacity on P7. Based on which resin we are using, we may need to override this based on the standard calculation that was done by the control. Press set and use the adjustments of the up and the down buttons if we need to do any adjustment. The next item is P8. This is our hardness calculation. Make sure to do any compensation for iron and manganese and always do a water test. If we need to make an adjustment, press the set button and make the adjustment using the up or the down buttons. Press set to save it and advance to the next setting. P9 is our unit of measurement. You will use zero for US and one for metric. Press your set button in order to save it if you had made a selection. Our next item we can adjust is P10. P10 allows us to change the display on the controller. Zero is a 12 hour clock and the display will alternate between current flow and the remaining capacity. If we choose one, that will use a 24 hour clock, but your display will still be flow and capacity. If we choose two, this is a 12 hour clock and the display will alternate between the time of day and the capacity remaining. If we choose three, this is a 24 hour clock that alternates between time and capacity. Select what you want the display to show and press the set button. Our next item is P11, which is our service interval. This can be adjusted to have a service interval display on the control. This can be adjusted from zero months or off all the way up to 250 months. It uses a 30 day month calendar. Once you have the number of months selected, press the set button to advance. The next item is P12. This is your remote regeneration switch delay. This would only be available on 742 units and can be adjusted from 3 to 250 seconds. Metered units do not have this capacity. The next item is P13. This is our refill sensor control. This is only available on softener or conditioner style units. Zero is that this would be off. One allows us to use a salt detector. This would be something that would be displayed on the front of the control. We can also choose two in order to do chlorine generation. Make sure you have all the correct accessories in order to do these options. You can advance by pressing the set button and moving into P14. P14 is our refill rate and is only used on softener or conditioner units. This is the gallons per minute that is going to be refilled at 100 times the refill rate. So 3.3 here is one third of a gallon per minute. We can then advance to P15. P15 is our draw rate. 
This is also only used on softener or conditioner style units. This is also measured in gallons per minute times 100. So for every minute of draw, we will pull in 0.22 gallons. This is based on which injector would be selected for the amount of resin that you had selected at the setup. If you need to override for a different injector, this is where you would place the entry. The next item is P16. This is our reserve capacity or reserve type. If we choose zero, this is going to be a variable reserve with a delayed regeneration. One is that it will be a fixed reserve with a delayed regeneration. Two is going to give us a variable reserve but with an immediate regeneration and three will be a fixed reserve with an immediate regeneration. Select which item you want in order to make sure you have the right reserve and regeneration style. P17 is your initial setting for your reserve amount. With your variable setting, this would be the percentage kept on the side. If you choose a fixed amount, this will be your number of gallons or liters you are keeping in reserve. This can be adjusted from 0 to 70%. The initial setting, when you get it, is 30%. P18 is where we do our flow sensor selection. 0 would be for Magnum IT units with no hard water bypass. 1 would be for a 1 inch turbine, this model being a Performa that would be the internal turbine. 2 would be for a 2 inch turbine. 3 would be a K factor, 4 would be a pulse count, 5 would be for a Magnum IT with hard water bypass, 6 would be if we had a alternating unit for the 1 inch turbine, and 7 would be for a 2 inch turbine for alternating units. Select the correct flow meter in order to make sure your pulse count matches the gallons flowing through the unit. If we had chosen to do a pulse or K factor, P19 would be where we would enter in that calculation. Since we have chosen an internal turbine, this just represents which model meter we have. The next item is PR. This allows us to have a refill first option. With zero, we are not going to refill first and the regeneration will begin at the program time. If we select one, this will make it so that our refill happens two hours prior to our programmed regen time. The last item in the programming level is our remote switch operation. This is only used for 742 units. If we have this at zero, this would be for an immediate. If we choose one, it would be a delayed regeneration. Press our set button and we exit out of the P-level programming. While in the programming mode, if we want to lock an item so that it cannot be adjusted, we press the regen button and a lock will be displayed. This will make it so that only people who are in the professional level programming can make any adjustments.